Hello, I'm Abe Romero, the Marketing Director for Advantix, and welcome to the first Advantix webinar for 2016. Happy New Year to all of you, and thank you for joining us. It's a brand new year, and Advantix has some pretty cool announcements in the very near future. We'll be launching a new service at the AOTMP conference on February 21st, and it will broaden our abilities to provide complete communication management and a new way to manage assets. You'll be kept in the loop and notified as all the details are released, and uh, so please be on the lookout for that. Today, we wanted to discuss some of the distinctive aspects of what Advantix provides its partners as well as its clients. You will hear from our trusted and experienced channel managers as they explain how they have helped partners and customers alike solve their unique challenges. But before we jump in, I wanted to set the stage a bit. Take a moment to look over some of these quotes and the people who made them. When preparing for the webinar, it became clear that there was one recurring theme, the ability to embrace change. The willingness to customize our services to fit the needs of our customer and our partners. Meeting unique challenges by being open to great ideas and change has allowed us to add some valuable services that not only help our clients, but make Advantix a better company. Many of our competitors don't embrace this simple philosophy, and we feel it's what sets us apart. So, without further ado, let me introduce Kim Hanzel, who's going to explain what she means by not all or nothing. Go ahead, Kim. Thanks, Abe. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Kim Honzell. I'm a channel manager here at Advantix. And the unique challenge that I wanted to talk about today was actually brought to me from two different partners but with, uh, for two different clients, uh, but with the same challenge. Um, they've been working on bids with their clients to supply broadband services across all the locations. One client had 100 locations, and one client has over 600 locations. And, and the partners were trying to get to, to win the business for their broadband services across all the locations. And the client was just, you know, I don't want to be inundated with a bunch of invoices from all these carriers. I have one carrier telling me they can consolidate the invoices. But if a problem arose with the particular carrier that may not be under their umbrella, I'd have to open trouble tickets with them if something happened. So Advantix was able to offer um, part of our solution, so the not, or, not all or nothing. And so that's why I wanted to talk about that. So with Advantix, being able to offer simply consolidated billing and management of just those specific services that were specific to that partner and that client, we not only could offer consolidated billing for those that broadband provider, but dynamic reporting so the client has visibility across all those locations and the spend, but also when we load all that data in from those invoices across and do all that legwork, our account management team will be able to notice discrepancies and billing errors and flag those as well as open trouble tickets with those carriers to dispute those errors and charges. And even on top of that, um, if those carriers have uh, service issues, those providers have service issues, we can, our Advantix team will open trouble tickets to note those, those, error, those <laughs> issues as well, sorry. So again, a great aspect of it's not all or nothing with Advantix, it's very customizable to what your clients need. Thanks Kim, that's great. Um, yeah, and that's the one thing I was speaking about before is that it, it really is not one bucket that you need to fit in. It's, it's more um, a simple solution that we provide within that bucket that could be valuable for, for your client. So thank you so much. And next up is Kimberly Moore. She's going to be talking about MDM setup and management. Go ahead, Kimberly. Hi. Happy New Year, everyone. Well, this is a really unique situation. Um, so MDM is mobile device management. We typically think of that when we're discussing AirWatch or MobileIron or Mass360, one of those advanced data support. So normally we do uh, advanced data support in conjunction with our mobility management services. However, this client that we worked with was using a competitor for mobility management and was not willing to administer or assist with their mobile device management project. So the client um, had 
you know, discuss the, the high cost of in, using internal resources. So they did not want to use their IT desk to overburden or um, utilize their employees for the setup or configuration of AirWatch. So they had a um, 100 devices that they needed to roll out in an initial phase, and we will be adding a, an additional 300 in about six months. So their challenge was they wanted to be able to remote wipe or uninstall corporate information if an employee leaves or loses a device. They wanted to be able to push mobile apps out to the devices. They wanted to be able to update or force passwords onto the devices. They want to set up a VPN. And they wanted to know if and if, if, uh, when and if a device was out of the country. So they really wanted to have total control over their corporate devices. So when the partner brought this to me, I went to the executive team to discuss the challenges, and they immediately had a vision for the solution. Um, it would be a new management solution that would incorporate the help of our solution center and a dedicated mobile device management expert. We then uh, went internally to our implement, in, implementation team to discuss the project and the timeline to be able to deliver this to the client. The partner was absolutely instrumental in communicating our vision and solution to the client to help us win this deal. So the custom solution that came out for this, uh, for this particular client was they were able to have their employees uh, get the setup and uh, immediate troubleshooting through our solution center. So we set up a custom portal, uh, 800 number, and an email for the employees to be able to contact us. The nice thing is, is that the client does get a case, so they see when something is going on and the resolution of that. So their internal team has eyes on it, but is not necessarily involved. So we worked with AirWatch to configure and push out all of their licenses and required functionality. Um, so we are fully supporting their employees um, with a customized solution. And it's a new service offering that Advantix is, is now, uh, has now rolled out. So Thanks, it was Kimberly. a win-win for everyone. Yeah, that sounds great. It, it really does sound like a team effort, not only between us, the partner, but also the vendor and, and the people working on it from all sides. So that's amazing. Um, thank you so much. Now I'm going to bug Chuck Taylor, and he's going to talk to you about uh, creating new solutions for partners. Go ahead, Chuck. Thanks, Abe. Uh, again, my name's Chuck Taylor, channel manager here at Advantix. And uh, as Abe stated earlier, the one thing that's consistent, especially in this industry, is change and, and being able to react to change is, is actually key for growing business uh, on all ends. So we were working with a partner who had a customer base of, of several clients that he was already managing on their cellular or their mobile devices. But where he was struggling, where they were struggling, was getting that information to be able to get reports in timely fashion and get the kind of data that they were looking at because they were doing it manually. And in talking with us, we ended up creating a partner-enabled portal where they could come in to our portal. And so in essence, the partner actually became the client to us. Uh, and what he was able, once we got that all set up for him, uh, for the partner, with uh, his customers profiled in our system, we had their accounts loaded in there, uh, we had everything profiled out, he was now able to come into the system and pull information uh, for reports, inventory, and tracking, cost analysis. It was all done through our our software, which he said, you know, was the missing piece that he just did not have and could not afford to invest in that kind of uh, software to do on his own. So he leveraged us to fill in that last piece that he is now giving back to his 
uh, clients. And uh, so, uh, and we were able to uh, brand that our portal with his logo on there so that it looked like his system coming into it. And uh, that was that private label approach there. Uh, so it, it all looked uh, like a single pane of glass all the way through. And the added value was they were doing a lot of this manually, and it was actually getting to the point they couldn't manage it effectively anymore. It was taking up too much of their time. We were able, to, because of the software that we have and the applications we already have, and, and getting that loaded into our system, we automated all of that and turned information around a whole lot quicker and a lot faster and a lot more accurate, actually, as well. That's great, Chuck. Thanks. Um, thanks for that. One one thing I want to remind you guys that that if you um, have any questions during this uh, webinar, which we're getting close to wrapping up, uh, be sure to submit it via the chat so that we can get an answer for you. If you have any questions about how we offer our solutions in single, um, and and being able to parse those out for you. So, um, let's go on to the next slide, which which speaks to the customization aspect and why it's so critical. Now, there are a few aspects of why this is so important and what it allows you to do as a partner for your clients. First, you're able to parse out a single aspect of our management solution for a customer and it helps continue the conversation for you and your client. Um, they don't have to fit within one single solitary management uh, uh, service. Um, we are flexible and we are willing to be able to parse that out into anything that helps to continue the conversation for them. Second, you have a chance to solve an immediate need and establish yourself as an advisor who can actually solve a problem for your client. So even if it's something as simple as the MDM setup for Kimberly, is not as simple as that sounds, or the TLM portal, um, or Kim's uh, example on how uh, they were able to do a, a single solution for them, you, you set yourself up as a person that's able to get the job done and solve a problem for them. And finally, when they're ready to grow, they're going to look to you because you were able to get that win for them and when they decide to grow, they're going to look to you to help them expand and improve their services all across the board. So this slide really talks to a lot of the questions that we get from customers and partners alike in determining um, this isn't a management uh, resource. This isn't a management uh, solution. This is a one aspect of what they get. So I'm going to ask the channel managers now to kind of talk us through some of these and give some other examples if they have them that in ways that they've been approached for services and solutions that don't necessarily require the full management um, uh, service, but that, that often just speak to one singular aspect of a feature that we offer. Well, uh, there, this is Chuck speaking. Uh, one on there that I'm looking at is the BYOD to cope. Um, BYOD was a very hot thing in the last couple years, a lot of companies started moving towards that where, you know, bring your own device and, 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 and it's enabled that way and they were just, they thought that that was less burden on their internal IT staff to manage, you know, by having employees bring their own devices. Uh, what, what we're seeing in the industry now is that actually it's starting to trend back the other way. Corporations are starting to take back control of those devices. Uh, and starting to come back, and, and sometimes that's all the help they need, uh, you know, to, to get them back, you know, and get them back onto a corporate plan, get them back enabled, and that's something that we can assist with and do that all really as a separate pro project if need be. Uh, so, you know, from a partner perspective, you, you all need to look at Advantix as, as a big toolbox. And we have all the tools in there, and you don't need maybe necessarily every tool for each client or project. So you can pick the right tools to do the the right job at the right time to get the most value out of it. That's great, Chuck. Um, Kim, did you have any thoughts on this slide? Any examples you wanted to give? Sure. Um, probably. Um the utility management, I know that myself as a channel manager, I don't normally lead with the fact that we can do that. A lot of times it comes into play after a client is onboarded and implemented and then we, we realize, hey, 
you know, with Advantage, we can also do utility management. And, and a lot of times I forget to lead with that to where if you've got a client that has multiple locations and, and those locations have, you know, you know they're spending a lot in utilities, we can help them manage that so that it's all in one place. And again, that's as you mentioned before, Abe, that's a great way to, as a, as a partner, build that trust. Hey, they're already helping me manage the utility. Uh, the utilities across all of my locations, what else can that partner help me with? You know, now I need um, some services and maybe now I can add my mobility management into that same portal. So again, it's just that one-off customization for your clients that helps all of us build that business and that foundation. Perfect. Thanks, Kim. And um, now, Kimberly, did you have any thoughts on this slide? Anything you'd like to add? Sure, I'll touch on the optimization. Um, many times uh, we only think about working with larger clients, but recently I um, worked with a client that only had 50 devices on one carrier, um, and we found about $14,000 in savings. And so we're going to be working with them on uh, just doing their optimization and getting the account cleaned up. So we can do optimizations on smaller accounts and really help the client even put a little bit more money back into their budget for other projects. That's great. Well, thank you guys so much. Let's go to the Q&A portion real quick. And uh, we only have one question so far, so please get it submitted in. Um, I think this question is more for you, Chuck. Uh, someone wants to know what the process is for getting a partner-enabled TLM portal up and running. Yeah, if there's some interest in that, uh, you can contact us and we'll we'll take you through the process. Um, we would actually get an agreement set up between Ad Advantix and the partner. And then there's just a, a set, there's a one-time setup fee to get everything um, set up into the system for the portal access, the client set up, get the clients profiled and get everything in there. And then we would work with you to find out what kind of reports are needed uh, for what you're trying to get to to supply to your to your customers. And uh, it's really pretty easy to uh, get set up and get going, actually. Well, that's great. I think that wraps us up. Again, thank you guys so much for joining the call. We're going to have lots of stuff coming your way, including our new AOTMP launch. I can't tell you anything but it's something secretly awesome. So you're going to be let in on that soon. And then uh, we have some really other cool um, app items and stuff coming up. So we'll keep you in the loop. But thanks again. Happy New Year, everybody. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.